Hey, what is going on guys? It is your mediocre self-proclaimed Pokemon Master here, Tiggly Man, coming at you with some Rank Battle Stadium singles live. Man, it's been a while since I said that, but it still sounds just as good. Um, real quick before this video starts, I got something really cool to show you guys. It's not that, it's this. I hope you guys really enjoyed that poorly made intro my buddy fanaticism i'll link him down in the bio he made the intro song and i think it's pretty fire actually came out really well and uh but with my poor you know animation skills i'm not an animator i did off of a whim thought it was kind of funny hope you guys enjoy it but anyways if you guys are wondering where i've been um my computer wasn't very good previous to my new one which is why the video quality i don't know if anyone notices yet but the video quality be much better audio quality be better i got a very much so upgraded rig my older computer was great for gaming not for doing video work but i finally got my new rig i got dual monitors fancy system and just everything fell into place and here we are i got an upgraded elgato and everything so i really hope the video quality improves i hope you guys bear with me and keep following the uh upcoming content and stuff of that sort because i'm gonna be filming much more regularly now i apologize for the little hiatus with this whole covid19 thing and i'm still working full-time and stuff like that it's hard to it was hard to get time for this and also try to put together my machine at the same time but everything's good now so i hope you guys are going to be here to stick around anyways it's been a minute since we've uh laddered hard but we're gonna go for it right now for a uh, singles team you know you see her all the time do i really need to explain her too much that's togekiss serene Grace weakness policy we got three attacks nasty plot i I'm, i plan on swapping this set i know i use it a lot but i plan on swapping this set out pretty soon but this is my first time back at it in a little while so i want st to stick with what i'm comfortable with and now uh the pride and joy for the video the pride and joy for the video is going to be snorlax we got an assault vested snorlax everyone likes to run belly drum i always felt belly drum snorlax it's it, it's one of those things if you lead properly on a belly drum snorlax it's completely like negated, typically, typically. But with Assault Vested Snorlax, a lot of times people are gonna think you're about to belly drum and you're not even gonna belly drum. You're just gonna attack or you're just gonna Dynamax and go. As long as you can avoid the burn or you prevent screens from going up, he rolls and he hits like a truck. He has like 110 base attack, he's crazy. But um, I've been really enjoying using him. And I have a VG VGC team that I did with him. I went on a 13 win streak with it. And Assault Vested Snorlax is the tech. It's, it's just the way to run him. It, it ain't perfect, but if you play well enough, it, it's very rewarding. But we just got four attacks with Assault Vest. Enough said. Max HP, max attack. And then followed up with him, we got Gyarados. It really doesn't deserve much of an explanation. Uh, we got Lumberry because it's his singles. So if he gets Will-O-Wisp, he can shrug it off. Uh, hopefully we can get a Dragon Dance on a Will-O-Wisp and just, you know, bait it. Dynamax, roll. Enough said. Moxie. Max Airstream Moxie. He's going to knock everything out and boost up. We got uh, Standard Coverage with Waterfall. Power Whip over Earthquake. I have other things to take care of, like Steel Types and stuff of that sort. And uh, Bounce. Power Whip's primarily for, like, Gastrodon, um, Quagsire, in case people want to try to wall me. Whatever. We'll get rid of those. Um, Excedrill. I like this set, D despite the fact it's completely walled by Corviknight, which is fine. We'll work around it. But there's a Focus Sash Drill. We got Earthquake, Iron Head with Rapid Spin and Swords Dance. So we have a potential to upgrade our speed, double our attack, and then we can hit... I don't know why it keeps disconnecting. I don't know why it keeps disconnecting. But anyway, then we can hit the opponent super hard. Let's uh, let's go back to the team preview. It keeps disconnecting me for some reason, but um, we're going to roll with it. We're, we're going to try our best. I really want to get a video done with this team just give it one second bear with me come on don't you shit out on me now <laughs> not my first video back okay we're connected don't worry we're gonna get right into it real soon i just want to finish explaining this team then we're gonna get rolling Oh, not that one. This one. Okay. But yeah. Excited drill self-explanatory. And then we have Scrafty with the Intimidate. And I have an Ali Papa Berry on. This is max HP, max attack. Admin. Uh, we got Bulk Up for setup potential. Thunder Punch to get rid of Gyaradoses. Because typically, uh, I believe, after an Intimidate drop, if I Dynamax and he Dynamaxes, we'll eat one max Airstream. Not really sure if Thunder Punch uh, Okos. We'll find out. And I got Close Combat and Throat Chop. And uh, then we have... Choice Specs Dragapult with the typical coverage. 
And just so you guys know, uh, Scrafty is super vulnerable to fairy, but that Assault Vest to Snorlax, uh, you will see how laughable the special attack fairy damage is going to be at him, because Snorlax just doesn't take any special attack damage. It's always lucky if you do more than a quarter of his HP. Seriously, it's disgusting. Okay, and without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the first match. All right, guys, I got our first match here. I hope it doesn't disconnect like it did earlier, but uh, we'll roll the punches and see what we can do. Okay, and right off the bat here, um... Let's see. Uh, Mimikyu is always kind of a problem. We got some answers for her, though. It's not too big of a deal. Um, Cedril is always annoying. Lapras ain't too bad. Uh, let's see here. Who do I think he would lead? I think he would lead uh, probably Excedrill or Rotom Wash. Um, I actually think Scrafty is just an overall good lead. As long as it doesn't lead Mimikyu. You know, Mimikyu or Togekiss. Uh, we're in good shape. So we will go... Scrafty, I have to have two answers uh, for that Mimikyu. Do Scrafty, uh, Drill, and because his team is so special attack heavy, um, I'm gonna go Snorlax. I, to be honest with you, I have a 1v1 uh, the Assault Vest Snorlax against the Mimikyu. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen in this battle, but um, I'd like to think a Dynamax Snorlax uh, wouldn't be too shabby against the Mimikyu, because I got Iron Head on to hit it pretty hard. So we'll see, we'll see. Let's see what she decides to lead. Please be Excedro. It's Togekiss. That, that's really too bad. Really too bad. Uh, I'm gonna go hard lax on this because I don't wanna like Thunder Punch, set off its weakness policy and then get it at max Airstream off. That would kinda be a GG and I don't want that. So this is unfortunate. I, I really did, I, I really do wish that the competitive singles meta was bring six pick four i think that would open so many doors for different like synergies and team compositions it would be amazing i love the 3v3 don't get me wrong i do but it's just you get punished for swapping so so badly let's see how strong togekiss is he should max airstream let's see max star falls it doesn't really matter it's gonna do the same amount of damage as snorlax i think this dynamax hit because togekiss is a beast if this is max special attack i think this will do a third don't do more than a third come on is that a little more than a quarter snorlax is nuts dude snorlax is completely nuts um you know i'm actually gonna just dynamax her too I'm gonna max strike. If I, I don't want a max steel spike, I'm sure Togekiss will eat it up. And um, I, I don't want to set up a weakness policy. I don't want to play no games. Let's see what this max strike does. It's awesome too because it kind of keeps their speed at bay. I mean, if she keeps max air streaming, it doesn't frankly really matter. But we'll one v one this. I'm pretty sure because this max air stream shouldn't do a whole. It really shouldn't do much at all. Now I'm Dynamax. I'm thick fat. This ain't this ain't doing shit. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I sw switched to a non-stab move, but, you know, that happens. Not everyone knows about stab and how important it is. Big damage. Big damage. It's not, it's not choice man, it ain't life orb. That's just raw Snorlax. No, no reason to belly drum. Oh, I feel like an idiot because I probably could have maxed Steel Spike there, actually, and knocked it out, but I think we're okay still. Yeah. That was a crit. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get a max steel spike off just to get my defense up a little bit. Cause now that he's gonna shrink down, he really can't do anything to me. If I'm at plus one defense, you know, as long as he didn't bring Lucario. Yeah, it's max steel spike here. I really should have did that the last turn and knock it out, so I could have got use of a one more Dynamax turn on a different Mon, you know, but, you know, I'm a little rusty. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Beautiful. What do you got? Unfortunately, he's super effective against my whole team, which is too bad. And he's got E speed too, so I can't rapid spit on him with Excedrill. Um, I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna hammer arm here just in case he like wants the nasty plot on a swap or something or yeah just do that he gone Now I'm gonna be absolutely crazy. I'm gonna go scraftier so I get my intimidate off. I just want to make sure as many avenues as possible are open up for Excedrill to finish this off. Oh, he has inner focus, so intimidate doesn't work. Uh, Scrafty, I hope you can eat a close combat from a Lucario. And he doesn't. That's all right. If this is Sash Lucario, I'm going to be very sad. Well, yeah, he should have Mimikyu anyway. I think. So I think it's like GG regardless, but I have to Earthquake. As much as I want to Rapid Spin and hope he doesn't have E speed. Like, oh, I outspat him. Don't be Sashed. Please don't be sashed. He's sashed. Of course he's sashed. It's funny, in 3v3, whenever there's like an item on your mind that you know like it can't be that, it's usually that. <laughs> well not it can't be that, just if it is that, I'm kind of screwed. Alright, then we'll just rapid spin our last hit just to see. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That was a, that was a decent first match I'm, i screwed up that was my fault i should have maxed steel spike the toga kiss on turn two but you know you win some you lose some and in this case we're losing some i'll catch you guys in the next battle we got another battle here hopefully it goes better than the last one let's see what this guy brought very uh threatening team very threatening team uh darm clef venusaur dragapult alone nine tails uh whatever kingler can be a threat he has a bad speed tier but our team's kind of bulky, so he's outspeed a couple of our guys. Now, if I were him, what would I lead? I'd probably lead a lull in nine tails, right? So it's gonna be a lull in nine tails or probably Darm. Okay, so I think Focus Sash Excedrill is it's always a safe lead. Like it hits his whole team pretty hard. So we'll do that. And then what can really like take care of everything? A Gyarados in theory can if that's not a special attack in Dragapult. Um. Let's see, uh, Snorlax walls, one, two, potentially four, depending if uh, Dragapult is a physical or special attacker. And I got mad love for uh, Snorlax. So let's bring the Lax. I don't think Scrafty is the move. Well, we'll, we'll let's go Dragapult. I, I do want to bring Gyarados, but I don't want like that, that Dragapult bringing Thunderbolt or maybe like that Tharm having Rock Slide or something. We'll see. We'll see. I gotta start playing this every day again. So I can get used to uh, the sets again. Nine Tails. Okay, cool. Cool. We are in excellent shape. Is he gonna Aurora Veil? I really want to like rapid spin if he does Aurora Veil. You know, you know what? We'll we'll, we'll rapid spin. His ice moves are neutral. Whatever. Let's yeah, be Aurora Veil. Okay, let's get our speed up. This is great. I'm gonna get totally crazy. I'm just gonna Swords Dance. And let's see if this Blizzard hurts. I hope this doesn't, I don't think it'll, oh, don't hit. Thank you, thank you. Doing some justice, I hate sleep. I know it's a part of the game, but I hate sleep. And now somebody has to take this Iron Head. Shame on you. Don't run Hypnosis. I know some of the best singles teams, though, do carry Hypnosis, because in 3v3, it's so so detrimental. I hate it. I hate it, but I'll probably eventually run it. 
All right, Venusaur, a chubby frog, man. Being a chubby frog ain't gonna save you from this earthquake, buddy. I was kind of hoping he was gonna Dynamax and just kind of waste it. That's good damage. That's really good damage. Oh, come on. Hmm, what's he gonna do? Is that Black Sludge? Yeah. Um. I don't want everyone going to sleep. Does he have any way to get his speed up? I'll, I'll Earthquake again. Wait, I want to go Lax, but he's going to try to put him to sleep too. Because Lax is so slow. Oh, yeah, he's using growth. Come on. Drill, I need you to wake up, dude. If you wake up this turn, you can knock this boy out. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we can. Wake up. Wake up. Yes, yes. Knock him out. Thank you. Don't get greedy. It's a lesson. <laughs> Trying to sleep and buff on me. Drill, you're a monster. And you know, I love you, but I really wanted Snorlax to get on this. Okay. This does have. Th this guy does. No, never mind. Never mind. No, no. Our speed's up. I hope he's not scarfed. Do I Dynamax here? Wait. I'm Iron Hiding. <laughs> I really hope he's not scarfed. He's scarfed. I should have just Dynamaxed. All right, let's go Lax. I am thick fat, so I think he might get all excited, you know, and be like, oh, you know, um, Max, Hail, whatever. Oh, he's not Max, that's great. That's fine. Say bye to your Gorilla Tactics ability. He should Max Knuckle, but that's fine. I'm gonna Max Strike and get his speed down and my Dragon Pulp can just come in and finish him off. I'd be really surprised if uh, Max Knuckle does more than a third. We'll find out. Darm is such a threat. But every time I Dynamax him, he's always like so lackluster, you know? Come on, baby. Work for me. Snorlax, this video's about you, and I need you to eat this damn hit. Please. Like, well. I know he's going to eat it, but I need him to eat it well. Let's see. Moment of truth. Come on. One third. One third. Okay. Yeah, yeah. About one third. Cool. See, I, I, I didn't need to go to college. I got this mathematician brain. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Is that a bulky darm Manitan? Is that what that is? Is that a bulky darm? Oh, Aurora Veils up. Okay. That's what it was. Okay. Now the max strike can do half of his HP. That's great. I was gonna say, Snorlax never hits that light. That was dumb. That's fine. We get to waste his Dynamax, and he's gonna get, get him nice and slow so Dragapult can come in and deliver the finishing blow. Dude, you're not gonna do any. I'm thick fat, bro. That was at plus one. He ate that like a champ. Snorlax is brazy as shit, goddamn. This dude is gonna be drowning in tech by the assault vest. See that? I, I planned that. I planned that critical hit. That's what I do. I just... I knew that was gonna happen. That was great. That was some, like, good justice with the way, like, last match went. Don't try to put me to sleep, buddy. That was a fantastic match. Let's, uh, get one more in, shall we? I'll catch you guys in the next match. And I'm back. We have the last match of the video, and I pray that it goes well, because Snorlax deserves more of a spotlight than 1v1ing Darm. Snorlax is a beast. Best mod in the game. Let's see what we got here. Surfetched. Snorlax is no longer the best mod in the game. Snorlax has now been completely, utterly countered. That's too bad. But, I got answers for that. I got Togekiss. 
Tokus is always great. But who would he lead? He would probably lead Darm. You know what we do? We go Drill. Drill would be an overall good Yeah, well, Drill's an overall good lead. It's fantastic. We go Drill, Kiss. And just because we can't stop. This is like my video back, and I gotta use that fat ass Snorlax to bag this match. And that's how it is. Come on, controller. Give me strength. I know I'm chalking this up to be way more exciting than it is, but I mean, you don't know what you're missing. This is really exciting. Hydragon. No, that's fine. That's fine. Just because. Just because I can. You know what? You know what? Actually, hold up. I do not want Snorlax taking a fresh hit. To be completely honest, I really don't. Um, I'll be a kid here, and I'll just rapid spin. Okay, he's Dynamax. That's fine. Now we get to stall at two turns of Dynamax, which is fantastic. Unless, unless he has like Max Hailstorm, and for whatever reason, like the hail knocks me out. I don't know. There, there's some fancy stuff that can get ran, but um, I don't think he's gonna do that. I think he's gonna Earth Pop, like Max Quake, I think. Oh, that's fine. Please. Always holds on. He's got that little Focus Sash, handsome little you know mole. Handsome mole hangs on all the time. Now, because Excedrill is thick, we're gonna crit our earthquake. You might be asking, why are you earthquaking with Excedrill? Well, he has Mold Breaker, so it ignores levitates as if Hydragon's just you know sitting on the ground and see, you know that wasn't like a ton, but you know we stalled two two turns of Dynamax and um, yeah everything's fantastic, everything's great. <clears throat> now I want to bring in Snorlax really bad but I think I'm gonna go crazy okay now if his attack drops that would be unfortunate I do not want him max Wormwinding my Snorlax but then again he might max darkness you know what regardless I'm gonna go right into Togekiss. If that Snorlax gets like max dragoned, that's gonna hit pretty good. I'm, I'm a Salt Vested, but Dynamax Hydreigon, that's gonna hit pretty good, and it's gonna lower my attack and really make him kind of useless. Please, Max Wormwood. Oh, Max Blur again. I could have kept him in. Damn. I could have kept Snorlax in. Uh, okay, whatever. If you're wondering why I'm swapping, I'm almost certain he has Surf Etched in the back, so like I'm not trying to sack out Togekiss and then just get blown up um, by the Surf Etched. I'm gonna Dynamax here, and I'm just going. I'm gonna max Steel Spike to start getting my defense up, because if I can get him to um, get Surf Etched out when my defense is doubled and my, I'm Dynamaxed, and if I'm relatively healthy, I don't think he can knock me out. I mean, I don't know. I, I'll be honest with you, I've never really versed Surf Etched, I think at all. Out of the thousand matches I've played in this game. <clears throat> I, I really don't ever see him. Well, I do see him and my opponent doesn't bring him. Just don't burn me. If he burns, I'll be so sad if he burns me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad. Like, the sunlight fades, he's gonna keep spamming flamethrower, I guess, and it's gonna do less damage now, so I get to stay healthy, I get another defense up, so I guess this is good. I just hope he didn't bring Surf Etched, I really, really don't. But he probably did, because I didn't want him to. Don't burn me, don't burn me. Yes, yes, okay, we're good. 
the other day I got really sad because I got um, I had my drill out at full health against the Dracozolt. For whatever reason, the Dracozolt ran flamethrower. It got a crit on me and it burned my drill. Like the odds that have me are so minimal on flamethrower, and why it even ran flamethrower even makes the odds even lower. And uh, yeah, it prevented me from losing the match. But hey, it's a uh, it's part of the game. You want to set your team up to best, you know, minimize those odds of happening. And unfortunately, those odds were against me that time. But I had plenty of matches where odds have been on my side. It happens. There he is. There he is. He'll probably meteor strike. You know, I, in my close combat. But my defense right now is doubled. And I have 387 HP. I'm almost certain he's banded. He will knock me out. Do I swap? Like, I swap? No, I'm a man. I'm a man. This is a Snorlax video. Snorlax, do it. Do it. Yes! Yes! Wow, he hit that up really well. <laughs> he hit that up like super well. It looks life orbed. That's great. That is great. Everyone, like, thanks, Snorlax. Drop a thank you in the comments section for Snorlax. They say thank you for being overweight so we don't have to be as overweight as you. Let him know that in the comments. That was just fantastic. Now, this is a problem though. This is a big problem. If he superpowers, we're good. If he icicle crash, we might even, I don't know, we might eat an icicle crash. Cause he knows we have Tokus, so he might do that. Um, I'm gonna, this is our heaviest hit. I'm gonna hammer arm. Live. Live. We're double defense. Thick fat. Live. No! He critted me! That crit mattered. That had, that had to have mattered. Because that was a quarter damage with my thick fat and my double defense. Man, after talking all that shit, Snorlax actually let me down. Damn. Now, if for whatever reason, his Darm isn't max speed, that would be incredible. That would be absolutely incredible. Or maybe by chance, by chance, he misses. I'm not sure. I don't think this flamethrower knocks him out regardless, but maybe we can miss twice. Maybe, maybe, maybe or he doesn't miss at all. Maybe he just doesn't miss at all. Maybe we just get hit at every icicle crash that comes by. But you know what? That was a good match and we did our best. But the crit odds snuck up on us and got us. And you know, it happens. We played our best. We were set up for success and we got that crit hit on us, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, my team was heavier than his. That's really all that matters. But with that being said, I will catch you guys in the outro. Thank you so much for sticking around to this point if you chose to. Um, this team, like, it's fun. I kind of just threw it together for a first time back video. Has a couple of uh, notable favorites. And, uh, Assault vs. Snorlax is absolutely fantastic. Uh, up next, I'll have my Assault vs. Snorlax VGC team. Uh, the, the 13 win streak I went on was last month. So hopefully we can kind of carry that over into, you know, this month in this meta and no, it wasn't GMAX Snorlax. I utilized the GMAX Strike uh, to open up the gateway for Choice Specs Dragapult. You'll see the team. It's it's fantastic, or at least it was fantastic. We'll see. I'll see if I can do it. But thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who subscribed to the channel. Thank you for everyone who's going to watch this that hasn't seen me post in a while. Thank you so much. Please stay up to date with this. I promise there'll be regular content. I'm going to be trying to pump out content Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday here and there. Uh, just so you guys know, too, I picked up this game called The Binding of Isaac. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. I'm not sure if you played it, but I will be doing a video uh, like once a week. Probably going to stream it here and there. It's a roguelike. It's crazy. It's really fast paced. A lot of fun. So when I do end up streaming it, of course, I'll be streaming this too. But whenever I stream, I really hope to see some of you guys around. Hope you guys will, you know, we can talk a little while, you know, get to know each other. But. Hope you guys use the team. I'll have the team ID down in the um, description of the video. I'll leave a paste bin too. If anyone just, you know, you play Pokemon Showdown and you want to uh, run the team, you can feel free to. Thanks so much, everyone. And I will catch you on the next one. Later.